Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Alex Invest. And wow, the markets are red again. Unbelievable, right? It's red, red, red all the time. It's like we're never seeing green again, except for that Monday. We saw a little bit of green, right? And we did talk about that. But I'm telling you guys, we are eventually going to see a turnaround back into the green. And it, this isn't going to last here. Uh, we're still in just correction mode right now. And just making up for all that green we had for months and months and months. We didn't see a red day, right? And now we're seeing weeks and weeks with all red but that's okay. Um, you guys are going to be rewarded for holding your shares and, and just waiting out this red up until we see green again. I have a feeling and that's what I'm doing. You know, you guys make your own decisions here, but I'm telling you guys that that's what I'm doing. I'm picking up shares, I'm buying the dip and I'm not worrying too much about the red or the missed out gains right now. So that's that. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. First of all, Exro Technologies, right? Yesterday, we had that short seller report and most of it was all lies and BS. And I put a video out on that yesterday, a quick one. And I just want to go over a few more things there. And then I also want to talk to you guys about NSH today again, right? That's the space stock. Also, I talked about this one yesterday on my channel, but only briefly. And I want to go through a few things there. We're going to go through the investor presentation there quickly and a few interesting things I see there and uh, the stock price of course too but I want to start off with uh, this right here, right? And and this is kind of the statement that Sue Ozdemir uh, brought out on Xro about the short seller report and, and just some of the things in here. And we'll just read it together, right? She says, this morning, we have seen our company stock react to a report that was in no way affiliated with Xro or its management team. This report was full of inaccuracies, innuendos, and outright distortions in what appears to be a short seller attack on the company. Uh, now, I just want to go over that quickly, right? Because I was saying in my video yesterday when I posted that, that it is mostly lies, right? And also just misleading information. And that's kind of the worst part, right? Is like they put out all the things that are bad about the company, but then say none of the good sides of those or, or none of the things that work to them, right? It's, it's all just the bad and they pick and choose, right? They pick and choose the bad stuff to talk about. So that's what's so bad about this, right? And, and there, there's a Reddit thread as well on, on just some of the things uh, that are incorrect, co completely inaccurate, right? Information. Um, so you guys can check that out. I will leave a link up to that in the description too. Uh, and, and Anyway, so let's let's keep reading here, right? It is unfortunate that this attack is to the detriment of our valued partners and shareholders who have stood beside us on our growth plan. And you know, we're still here, guys, and we're still with them because I I'm still with them at least. I know a lot of you guys are in the comments uh, from yesterday as well. So. We will not take this report lightly and we will be preparing a detailed response in the next 48 hours against these claims to highlight the cynical attempt to hurt a real and thriving company, its shareholders, and the integrity of the market, right? And that's key too, right? Because it's not just about extra here. It's about the fact that these short sellers, which have zero credibility, right? And, and just know nothing about, first of all, the company, but mostly just about, about everything. And, and they're taking advantage advantage of us as investors, right? And, and they're playing on the fear that us as investors have right now. And, and there's a lot of these short reports coming out right now. For example, on um, uh, CBDT is, is another stock, which I'm not personally invested in, but a good friend of mine is, and it was doing well, right? And another short seller as well came out and hit that stock hard and it dropped, you know, it was up at like $2.83 and it dropped below a dollar. And is this, that one still hasn't really recovered yet, right? And the issue is, is why are short sellers attacking right now so much because they're playing into the fears of investors. They know that investors are scared of the current market environment. They're not sure what's happening, right? So we're gonna see a lot of these short reports, I think, coming out in the next little while because uh, these short sellers know that right now is the perfect time to bring out these reports and push down the share prices of these stocks, even though they're information is completely unfounded just on the fact uh, that it's easy to do right now because of investor fear with the general market as well, right? So that's something very important to note there. And we can't let them keep doing this because they've already won, right? And I know it hurts to hear, but Mariner Research won because they shorted the stock and, and we'll, we'll take a look right here, right? They shorted Exro Technologies, 
at $5.60. And where do you think they exited their positions? Right down here at the $3 mark. And it sucks to hear, but yes, the short seller in this case won. And you know what? They probably bought some shares here too and rode this back up. So they double won there. And, and it's just, it's painful. And we can't let these short sellers continue to do that, especially when there's such uncredible, um, uh, and I'm not sure if that's a word, but uh, if they're when there's so such uncredible um, research firms, which which have just zero credibility behind them, and and that's really what sucks. Um, but anyway, so let's get back to this here. So. I want to personally reassure our valued partners and shareholders that we continue to maintain the highest degree of integrity to Extra and embed it within our company culture. We remain very confident about their patented technology, our business plan and organizational design and the value of the products we can bring to the market. Um, my commitment is unshaken and um, yeah, she stands by the company and etc. right? So all good things there and, and I'm excited for her actual statement here, right? And we'll do another video because obviously I read the entire short seller report and I did find so, so many inaccuracies, first of all, and just the, the really the misleading information is what really gets me going to, right? Is that, um, they, they, they just really like to mislead people, do a full hit piece and just make a quick dollar and it sucks. But it is nice to see, you know, extra technologies recovering. I did want to share with you guys uh, my Twitter here for a second too, right? Because uh, I wanna show you guys this, which is what I sent to them uh, yesterday here. And, and that's this right here, right? And you have once again proven uh, your horrible track record, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, um, I, I said, thanks for the cheap shares. I'd have someone from your firm on my channel to debate X row, but believe, but obviously no one can be reached, right? And, and so you guys should go and retweet this because I would love to have someone from Mariner Research or even Seeking Alpha on uh, my channel and, and we'll do a live event on YouTube and I'll just debate with them why I think that XRO is a great company and you know why I think they're wrong. And I'll ask them questions about their report because there's a lot of questions I have about their report and, and about their inaccuracies and, and their misleading statements there, which I would love to share. Now I'm guessing we're not gonna get a response from them, right? But if we do, that would be amazing to just show how you know stupid and how, how ridiculous these short sellers are and how little idea they have of pretty much any company, right? So that would be awesome if we could do that. But again, probably no one will answer. Um, but who knows, you know, go, go and go and um, retweet that. And, and if you know anyone, you know, I would love to talk to them on the channel about it. And again, we'll do it live. So the, the nothing's hidden, right? Um, and, and of course, if no one does respond, once Sue Osmia brings out her, her other statement there, we'll go through that and we'll take a look at uh, some of the inaccuracies that I found in the report as well. Because again, there is a lot, but uh, I, I don't wanna share them just yet with you guys. So we'll, we'll save that for another video. And here quickly, this is the recovery and extra we've seen today already. Uh, we're back at sort of the 4.5 level. If we go out to the 30 minutes here, right, this, uh, this sort of, of, uh, horizontal trend line that I made our, our uh, resistance level in the past, right? And and when I did another video on XRO where I said is consolidation over, you can go check it out on YouTube as well. But I basically said because we'll have to go out a little further here because this right was kind of our last resistance here back when we hit th this high before, right? And I said, uh, well, likely we're going to break through this. And of course we did. And we went to the upside and then this is the short sell report. So it'll be interesting. I think we might again, maybe hit resistance right around this $5 level. But anyways, we will see what happens there. And other than that, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like subscribe and leave me a comment as always. And uh, other than that, have a fantastic day. I know it's a red day, but still, you know, enjoy, enjoy the day anyways. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for that NSH video.